Athletics are a crucial part of campus life here at Northeastern. As students, we love to cheer on our Husky players, and when some of those players are talented enough to make it into the big leagues, we love cheering them on there as well. Today, we'll give you an overview of all the former Huskies who have gone pro in the MLB, NHL, NBA, and even the NFL. Let's start with baseball. Northeastern has had 45 players drafted since the MLB draft started in 1965. Neil McPhee was drafted by the Twins in 1965 and spent three seasons in the minor leagues. He never made the majors, but served as the head coach of Northeastern for 29 seasons from 1986 to 2014. 14 players were drafted in that period and three of them made the major leagues, including Mike Glavin, who then succeeded him as head coach of Northeastern in 2015. Glavin, the less successful younger brother of Hall of Fame pitcher Tom Glavin, was drafted in 1995 and played in six Major League games with the New York Mets in September of 2003. His one and only Major League hit was a single during his final game on September 28, 2003. Glavin is currently in his seventh season as the Huskies head coach. The Huskies' first ever first round pick was first baseman Carlos Pena, who remains the highest draft pick out of Northeastern after being drafted 10th overall by the Texas Rangers in 1998. He debuted on September 5th, 2001, and went on to play 14 seasons in the majors for eight teams. His most successful seasons came in Tampa Bay from 2007 to 2009, when he won a Gold Glove, a Silver Slugger Award, and was named an All-Star. In 2007, he was named American League Comeback Player of the Year after playing only 18 Major League games in 2006. In both 2007 and 2008, he was ninth in MVP voting and he led the American League in home runs in 2009 with 39. Since retiring after the 2014 season, Pena has found a career in broadcasting and is currently an analyst on MLB Network. The program's second first round pick was current Red Sox pitcher Adam Ottavino, who was drafted 30th overall by the St. Louis Cardinals in 2006. At Northeastern, he broke the team single season strikeout record twice and still holds the career record for strikeouts. Ottavino established himself as a reliever with the Colorado Rockies, where he pitched for seven seasons. Recently, he posted a career best season in the elite Yankees bullpen. In January, Ottavino was involved in just the third trade between the Yankees and the Red Sox since 1997 and is looking to bounce back from a rough 2020 in the upcoming season. The other active MLB player from Northeastern is Aaron Savale, who was drafted in the third round by Cleveland in 2016 after a record-setting Northeastern career. Savale debuted in June 2019 and has found great success so far in his young career in the Cleveland rotation. Last season, he pitched his first career complete game in a 109-pitch win over the Pittsburgh Pirates, and he is projected to be Cleveland's third starter this season. The other Northeastern players who have made the major leagues are catcher Luke Carlin, who caught a handful of games between 2008 and 2012 in the majors, and George Yankowski, the Northeastern Hall of Fame catcher, whose MLB career was interrupted when he enlisted in World War II. Northeastern's baseball program continues to develop talented players. Until last year's shortened five-round draft due to the pandemic, at least two Huskies had been drafted every year since 2011, and more Huskies may be in the majors soon. Northeastern has a decently storied hockey history. NEU may not match up to the output of schools like BU and BC, but the amount of players who've made it to pro may surprise you. Not only that, but Northeastern's hockey program has seen more and more players going pro over recent years. In the 80s, NEU produced several AHL and NHL talents, including the likes of Chris Nillen, who played mainly for the Montreal Canadiens from 1980 to 1988, before being traded to the Rangers and Bruins. In a career marked more by penalties than goals, in that era of hockey, most Northeastern players who made it to the next level did so as scrappy role players, usually found down the depth chart on the teams. During the 90s, Dan McGillis went from a late round draft pick out of Northeastern to a successful and relatively long career. Northeastern went through a dry spell of hockey talent for a significant amount of time until the early 2010s and the program began to reinvent itself. Players like Josh Manson, Zach Aston Reese, Anthony Bittetto, and Matt Benning made appearances on the NHL stage to varying degrees of success. Aston Reese and Bittetto 
showed that the quality coming from Northeastern has had a real staying power on the NHL stage. Northeastern's most successful player at the next level so far is probably Jamie Oleksiak. The one and done player at Northeastern became the school's highest NHL draft pick when he was selected 14th overall in the 2011 draft by the Dallas Stars. The year Oleksiak was drafted, one of the major factors in Northeastern's turnaround had just joined the team. Former Huskies player Jim Madigan took on coaching duties of the university's hockey program and immediately made a significant upgrade in player development. Madigan led the team to a renaissance of development that led to several Beanpot trophies as well as players like Adam Gaudet, Caden Primo, and Tyler Madden moving to the HL and NHL stage. Adam Gaudet became the first Northeastern player to win the Hobie Baker Award as the best player in D1 college hockey and has become a key player on the Vancouver Canucks. Northeastern continues to gain more talent from the youth level and hopes that Madigan can continue to develop the kinds of players he's been able to produce since the beginning of his career as the Northeastern head coach. Northeastern doesn't have a ton of basketball players that went pro, but there are some famous names from NU, including a very popular former NBA champion. Since the 1970s, Northeastern has seen six players drafted into the NBA, and just one player, Katasha Artis, drafted to the WNBA. We'll start with the most recent draftee, J.J. Barea. J.J. Barea joined Northeastern in 2002 to 2003 and won All-American East Conference and AEC All-Rookie Team honors. Barea was drafted by the Golden State Warriors in 2006, but he was acquired by the Dallas Mavericks later that year. Barea is known for excelling off the bench for the Mavericks, rarely starting, but running the second unit as the backup point guard. He scored an impressive nine points per game off the bench in the 2011 Finals as Jason Kidd's backup, and he became the second Puerto Rican to win the NBA Finals. Barea returned to the Mavericks after three seasons with the Timberwolves and has recently served as a veteran leader on the bench, mentoring young star Luka Doncic before being released earlier this season. As for the rest of the NBA, former Husky Harry Barnes played for the Rockets for 22 games in the 68-69 season. Reggie Lewis is another notable Husky who went pro, playing with the Boston Celtics from 1987 to 1993. Lewis attended Northeastern from 83 to 87, with the all-time points record of 2,078 points. However, Lewis tragically collapsed on the court during game one of the playoffs in 1993 versus the Hornets, which turned out to be his last NBA game after he passed away due to a heart condition later that year. Perry Moss attended Northeastern from 1978 to 1982 under coach Jim Calhoun, scoring 15.2 points per game. He played in the NBA for multiple teams after being drafted by the Boston Celtics. Finally, Rick Waitsman attended Northeastern from 1964 to 1967 and won a ring with the Boston Celtics against the Lakers in the 1968 NBA Finals. For the WNBA, the most noticeable Husky who has gone pro is NEU Athletics Hall of Famer Katasha Artis. Katasha went to Northeastern from 91 to 95 and is still the all-time Northeastern Husky NCAA scorer. Artis then played for the now-defunct Charlotte Sting in 2001. Northeastern football program was founded in 1933 in the midst of the Great Depression and set the standard for collegiate mediocrity in the football realm for decades. However, the economic woes of the, of the period were nothing compared to the real Great Depression, which fell over NEU football fans when, in 2009, President Joseph Awun and announced the end of the football program. During that 76-year period, however, Northeastern had a number of notable professional players in the NFL, that number being three. First is Sean Jones, who was a defensive end for Northeastern in the early 80s. He was drafted by the then Los Angeles Raiders in the second round of the 1984 draft. He ended up playing 13 total seasons for the Raiders, Houston Oilers, and the Green Bay Packers, where he won a Super Bowl in 1997, playing opposite of NFL legend Reggie White. During his time in the NFL, Jones was elected to the Pro Bowl as an Oiler in, in 1993 and was a two-time All-Pro in 94 and 95. He finished his career with 113 total sacks and one touchdown, which he scored off a fumble recovery. Next on the list is former NEU teammate of Sean Jones, fellow defensive lineman Keith Willis. Willis came into the league as an undrafted free agent in 1982 and was a stealer for nine of his 11 total years, five of which where he was a starter. In only his second year, Willis recorded 14 sacks in a 14 game season, averaging one sack per game. He also recorded a rare defensive lineman interception in his 1990 season. The final legend of Northeastern's gridiron is tight end Dan Ross. 
He was drafted as the 30th overall pick in the 1979 draft by the Cincinnati Bengals. Throughout his seven-year career, Ross racked up 19 touchdowns and averaged almost 12 yards per reception. He was elected to his only Pro Bowl in 1982 and was an All-Pro in both 81 and 82. Now here's a guy who not only was a teammate to broadcasting legend Chris Collinsworth, but also had his number 84 retired by the Northeastern Huskies football program, which admittedly doesn't mean as much anymore considering they retired all numbers in 2009. Well that's it for Huskies who have gone pro in the major leagues. Yay! Okay. Carly and Tommy on camera. camera yep. All right, cut, cut, cut. Players like Josh Mason, Zach Alson Reese, Anton Anthony Reese. B. What? Anton Reese. Zach Anton Reese. Oh. Players like Josh Manson, Zach Anst Aston Reese. Anton. Is, 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 that, is that It's Anton. Uh, okay. It says, it says Aston. It does say, oh, it, it is, is Aston, Aston, isn't it? It is Aston.